this is a brief video about how our Moodle site works. For the purposes of this video, we will be using HEA 347 Health Problems of Lower Income Groups as an example. However, all courses on this Moodle website operate in a similar fashion. These four gray boxes, Course Menu, Administration, Calendar, and Activities, as well as the center portion of the screen, are permanent on the website. You cannot delete them. If you would like not to see them, you can use the double stacked white arrows in the upper right hand corner of each gray box to hide them. However, these are not deleted, just hidden. The course menu allows you to navigate through the course material. The course material on our website is found in the center of the screen. Currently, all the course material is showing one chapter at a time. You use the course menu to change in the chapters. Again, these four blocks, as well as the center portion, will not change. Only the bottom center portion will change. You can also use the jump to feature at the bottom of the screen to change topics. If you'd like to see all your course content at once, you can double click on this stacked icon box in the upper right hand corner of any chapter. All your course content will then be laid down the center of the screen, and you can access the different chapters or modules simply by scrolling. You can also use the course menu in this format, and it will just jump down to the appropriate course, chapter, or module. To change it back to one at a time, you just click on the single box icon in the upper right hand corner of any chapter or module. The textbook link contains required textbook information for each course, and the software link contains software information for each course. Please be aware that the software required is the same for each course. If you have additional software requirements that are specific to your course, you will learn about these from your instructor. The tutorials link is available to assist you with short videos on common questions regarding our Moodle courses. Please take the time to watch these short videos to answer some questions you may have. Your grades will be tracked in the gradebook available under the administration block. Please watch the How to Calculate Your Grade tutorial for more information on this. The profile link contains important information about yourself. You've already used this to change your password. You can change your password at any time using the same procedure as before. You can edit your profile. So if you'd like to include information about yourself, this is similar to something you might find on a social networking site. Please be aware that any information you provide in your profile is public information. If you don't wish anyone to know this information, do not post it. You can also access any forum post if your instructor requires that. Have access to a blog if your instructor requires that you blog. And also have ac access to your activity reports. This will contain information about what you've done on the website to date. If you're enrolled in multiple courses, they will be listed here under Courses. If you'd like to switch back and forth between your multiple courses, just click on the course that you're not currently accessing, and it will change your course in the horizontal line. This is a quick and easy way to switch between courses. Let's go back to the home page. Your syllabus and other important items should be listed near the top of the screen. The syllabus is available 24-7 throughout the semester. Should you ever need another copy of any syllabus, just log on and download it. The course calendar highlights important dates in the course. Anytime you see a date in this orange color, something is occurring. Just hover your mouse over the date and it will tell you what's going on that day. As you will see here, many dates mostly Wednesdays, are highlighted on this calendar. For most HEA courses, closing dates are on Wednesdays, but course requirements including ass assignments and quizzes open early so you can complete them before the due date. Use the blue arrow in the upper right hand corner to scroll through the months. The activities block provides some quick links to important items. You can click here for access to your assignments 
or you can also access these under the chapters they go with. For example, this course has an assignment with chapter two. It's listed here under chapter two, or you could also use the assignment links, chapter two case study, to access this information. Quizzes will line up any re required quizzes and display their closing dates and times. This information is also covered on the syllabus. And the resources is just a quick link to anything that can be printed off this website. If you would like to print off your notes or anything else that can be printed off this website, the resources link will line them up easily. As far as course content, each module or chapter should outline what you need to do to complete that module or chapter. Please read these instructions carefully. Lectures, notes, and quizzes are linked within each module. You will need Windows Media Player and Java to access lectures in the, our courses. You will need Adobe Reader and Microsoft Word in order to be able to access the notes and assignments. This has been a brief tutorial about how the Moodle website works. For more information, please contact your instructor or call the Office of Academic Outreach at 336-315-7494 if you need assistance in navigating the course. Also, if you have questions regarding your specific course and its requirements and the information cannot be found in the syllabus or the tutorials, please contact your course email with your question.